take a look at this is uh, getting a little interesting a little further back there comes Stephen Wallace underneath and Scott Wimmer are yeah, look out. That's Kenny Wallace with the Border Patrol car. We're uh, holding to pick up the number 66 of uh, Stephen Wallace. He has picked up 11 spots since the start of the race and has been clipping off some very, very good laps. There he is. He's coming up on Jason Leffler right now. Stephen's in 12th position. Leffler's got 11th. And he's going right underneath him. Nah, not going to be able to make it that time. So it's going to be interesting, as it has been all the time that we have been. Whoa, he gets a little loose. That's what's great about Richmond. Stephen Wallace on the move towards the front. Stay with us. We're at the action track. Also, Stephen Wallace. And you got your boy up there in the top five, Rusty. Stephen Wallace. Proud of that boy right now. He's driving smart. About the last four or five races, it's like he flipped the switch. Got a good top five going on right now. Seven laps to go. These guys just got to bring it home now. Stephen Wallace also going to get past us. That he would rather this than any other race on tour. And oh, look at the contact. Kyle Busch gets bumped by the 66. And here he comes right back underneath him. But come. It means so much to him. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> this, he's had a wonderful day. He just won the pole at FedEx number 11. And to come back and win the race. Uh, for the fifth consecutive week. Marty? And you saw the confrontation with uh, Kyle Busch and Stephen Wallace. Now, Kyle did finish third, Stephen fifth. And here is uh, what happened. He looks in. Typical Friday night. Oh, Stephen grabs the helmet. I think two guys will be going to the trailer. And you may have to get your wallet out, Dad. There may be a fine. I'm staying out of this one. Uh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Stay with us. Run it was for Kyle Bush coming all the way from the back to the front and excitement at the end. Always with you, Kyle, at the end. It's so exciting. But take us through the final lap and what happened with you and Stephen Wallace. Well, I mean, we had a struggling night all night. You know, we had to battle there in a, at the end of the race. And Stephen, I guess, got a better run off of turn two. And instead of, you know, turning low to pass me, you know, he just hit me in the back end there and drove into turn three. And he knew I was going to hit him, so he moved up the racetrack out of my way. And uh, we got through there, luckily, and we were able to come home third or whatever we were. I don't even know. But, uh, you know, when, when you bump somebody on the straightaway, if you want to play boys' games like that, you know, then it's every man for himself. And uh, I don't care. I'll wreck as many cars as I need to. So, um, it, to me, I'm, I'm not going for points. If he's going for points, it's going to hurt him a lot worse than it's going to hurt me. You jumped out of your car and you went back and had words with him. What did you say? I basically told him that you mess with the bull, you're going to get the horns. And then he wanted to grab my helmet, which is, uh, you know, pretty childish again. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens here in the future. And if he wants to play those games, he's going to get hurt. All right. Kyle Busch, birthday boy tonight, turned 23. Let's go over and get the other side of what happened. Mike Massaro. And Stephen Wallace has just climbed from his car. What is your take on what transpired in that last lap between you and Kyle? That's just Richard, man. Here on a three-quarter mile racetrack, you're racing as hard as you can. You know, it's uh, just a green-white checkered. I mean, uh, for what can you do, you know? But besides that, you know, our uh, Nick Chevrolet, uh, Great Your Sons, Monte Carlo, you know, uh, ran really good. I got to thank John Bean and Susan Bean. You know, we finally pulled this top five off for him, and uh, it was just a good run for us. You know, we worked real hard over the offseason, and, uh, you know, we've had a lot of fast race cars just having anything to show. You know, we ran, uh, we ran 10th in Mexico and 5th here, so we're finally building some momentum that we can carry there at Darlington. So uh, just got to thank everybody at HRS, you know, RWI, and uh, thank Harold Holly and all those guys who changed my life and uh, my whole race team around. He leaned in the window after you guys came down pit road. What did he say to you? I don't know what he was saying, but uh, if I jerked him by the helmet and just rattled his cage a little bit, and know him, uh, just to, just to tell him that I wasn't happy with it. You know, he's just a little girl about it. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I just think it's pretty bad. You know, when they call drivers introductions, everybody in the grandstands bougies. You know, that, that, that's always for a reason. Sore loser. But anyway, good day for H. Holmes and John Bean. Thank you. Well, Dave, short tracks, short tempers.